Today, we've got an exclusive scoop on Paramore. They're reportedly set to re-record their music, and it's all sparked by a fascinating move inspired by none other than the support of Taylor Swift. Stick around because we've got all the juicy details, the inside scoop, and maybe a few surprises along the way. But first, let me paint the picture. Paramore, the powerhouse band led by the incredible Hayley Williams, is said to be taking matters into their own hands. We'll unravel why they're re-recording their early music, the drama with their old management, and the Taylor Swift connection that's adding a whole new dimension to this story. Let's kick things off with the basics. Paramore, the chart-topping band with Hayley Williams at the helm, is reportedly on the brink of re-recording their earlier music. Formed in Tennessee in 2004, they've been on an epic journey signed to Atlantic Records for two decades. However, recent events have severed those ties, making them free artists once again. Rumors suggest a fallout with their old management, leading Paramore to opt for a fresh start. Their destination? Haley's own publishing company, but father, I just want to sing music. It's a bold move, and we're here for it. Now, here's where it gets intriguing. Haley Williams shares a strong bond with none other than Taylor Swift, who's been making waves with her decision to re-record her music catalog. A source spills the tea, mentioning Taylor's unwavering support for Paramore behind the scenes. Could Taylor be the guiding force in this musical rebellion? The music industry landscape is shifting, and artists like Taylor Swift are paving the way. The desire for ownership over their creations is becoming more prevalent, with Taylor leading a charge that might inspire others to follow suit. Could this be the beginning of a trend where artists reclaim control over their art? Paramore's recent social media cleanse and withdrawal from the Altier Ego Festival raised eyebrows, but fear not, they're gearing up to join Taylor on the European leg of the record-breaking era's tour. Could this be a strategic move in their master plan? Let's take a moment to revisit Taylor Swift's journey. Her decision to re-record her music wasn't just about revisiting the past, it was a power move to regain control after Scooter Braun's company snatched up her master recordings in 2019. The global attention and success of her re-recordings send a resounding message about artist empowerment. As we await official confirmation from Paramore's camp, let's not forget that they're not the first to embark on this re-recording journey. Blondie, among others, has taken this route before. What could this mean for Paramore's legacy and the broader music industry? Before we wrap up, we want to hear your thoughts. Do you support artists re-recording their music to reclaim control, or do you think it's unnecessary drama? Drop your comments below and join the conversation.